Hello and welcome back to Game of Thrones mod for Crusader Kings 2. So, um, if you've been wondering what's been happening with uh, the episodes and why this one's a little bit later, um, YouTube had a little bit of a comment issue. You may have seen this where they just removed all like line breaks and paragraphs from all comments, which for the most part doesn't really affect many channels. For this particular channel, however, and for the custom courtiers, when somebody's nicely organized all of their uh, courtier stuff so it's nice and easy to read, it becomes a lot harder to do when it's all put into one giant wall of text, or one giant block of text. So, it's, uh, I was just waiting to see if they'd fix it. Uh, they, did, they have not fixed it by the time of this video, but we have four courtiers, which we'll go through now. We have Havium who is a dishonorable, um, he wasn't, he was a bandit, but he decided he wanted something more. He wanted a better life for himself, um, but he knew that he was a wanted bandit, so he did what any sensible bandit would do. He killed a uh, bandit group and then he joined up. Which just makes sense to me. Um, we also have hacker uh, Chozax. He um, was a, an aspiring pirate, and until uh, one day he there was somebody drowning. He got him onto his boat, and this drowned man told him about the uh, well, the drowned god. And hacker Chozax, well, he believed him. He was so into it, he was ready to go off to join the Ironborn, uh, but uh, his crew were not so happy, so they chucked him off his boat. And by luck, he arrived at, at Harlow Hill. We also have Joshua Christie, who is a bastard of the Mormons, and basically he um, was a bit of a traveler. He's gone to Marine, he's picked up the religion, he went to Old Valyria, and uh, there were some problems there, and he narrowly escaped, and he has now made it over here. And, well, as we're his next stop on his journey, he may travel on, he may stay here. And we have Lend Lannister. Well, he calls himself Land Lannister. He is a bastard of the Lannister house. And he, um, well, he was born in Lannisport. But he was an honorable person. He's uh, born in Lannisport, then moved to the Rock later. And uh, he is, uh, he saw some of the dishonorable things going on to the Ironborn. He did not like uh, some of the things that were happening. And he was sent here to kind of oversee things, but has decided to just join the court as a noble and uh, make this his place of residence. So we'll see uh, how that goes. Right, let's uh, carry on. So, what are we? We are a nine-year-old boy who is patient and a poor fighter. Okay, that's reasonable. Um, we could change our educator. Um, Prob I'm fine with our current educator, but um, that was just someone some people were mentioning. We could change our educator. I think that our mother is fine as an option. Oh, what we got here? Uh, lots of people just being released from dungeons, getting chiefdoms. Okay. Arion has been a leal and able servant, having successfully completed many tasks in the aid of Harlow Hill, being seen as the right and honorable course to reward him with certain incomes and grants as to foster greater loyalty. Um... Our mother has nothing against it, and we have nothing against it. Sure, have your uh, one ducat, uh, one, uh, I don't know, what would it be, gold? Some, something. Some currency reward. I think they actually changed it so this has the right amount somewhere. One of the things, it's, it starts mentioning gold instead of other things. Uh, Lawrence Fields has died. Um, he was succeeded by Robin Fields who is um, a weak and craven man and, it, and is a squire. Um, was that his first wife or second wife? Uh, that was his second wife's child. Okay, but we do need a new sworn shield. Let's see uh, who we have on offer. We'll go for Marshall. 11.5. Uh, 19.5, but is a Lannister, so perhaps we'd not... Uh, even if he is a bastard of Lannisters, maybe we wouldn't have him as our bodyguard. At least not yet. Like, not is in his uh, first couple of months here. I think we're going to go with uh, Giles Goldwine. There we go. Uh, still the same weak claims? Pretty much. Oh, we have a claim on High Lord of Harlow. We could pre uh, press. We're not going to press one on our uh, family just yet. But if we got different traits, if we had more troops, we could press that. Uh, the North has a Peasant's Revolt, and the Peasant's Revolt in Dorne just ended. Okay, cool. 
How many people do we have in our court now, by the way? 67. So there's still plenty of room for children to uh, happen. Now, um, for marriage episodes, uh, I'm kind of holding off because I think we'll do one when we hit 14 just because uh, that way we can do all the marriages at once. These are the people I grew up with. I feel we bonded over the years. So we grew up with Wallace Weber, uh, Brienne Caron, who is the child of uh, Jonas Dorn. Okay. Uh, Asha Forrester and Gwyneth Serpentail. Your courtier, so Jonah, has caught grayscale and uh, his skin is turning a molten black and gray. Stone like to the touch. Seems the drowned god does not favor him. He is. Yeah, he has grayscale and he's blinded from age. Yeah, he's. Uh, he's not gonna last much longer. Okay. Right. Uh, people are buying favors. I thought it was something more interesting. Just favors. Um, my lord, I, Go Isles Goldwine, request the right to take the black and guard the realm's men as a sworn brother of the Night's Watch. Well, I mean, if that is what you want, Giles, I'm not going to stop you. Um, I suspect this isn't what the person who made you wanted, but, uh, you know, if that's what you want, we have nothing to say that we would stop him. Sargon Weber is now known as the Unchaste. Okay, interesting. Especially as he doesn't have the lustful trait. Inter Very interesting. We need a new sworn shield, however. Uh, again, Lend Lands are not going for the same reason as I did last time. He's still not really been here that much longer. Uh, 4.5 might be the best. 5.5? Uh, with Lend and Goldwine. Which would be uh, his father taking the spot. You know what? That sounds reasonable. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, Tyros Lannister did something, bought a favor, I think, and then the peasants revolt in the north ended. We are lo in a losing war as well. We're in a couple of losing wars. It looks like uh, Westeros got a little bit better at it. Like They were at 36, now they're at 41%. Uh, but that might be because the Reach is at 81% war score. And they are really going to get Greenfield. I think it's just going to go straight to them. These past few weeks, Winfrey has been drilling me in the use of swords and lances. The instruction has been hard and stern, but my prowess has increased. We're now a trained fighter, which is great. And what is Winfrey's level of fighting? Out of curiosity, she is a skilled fighter, so I think there's one more level she can teach us. If I understand it. A son was born to Saragon uh, the Unchaste and Follis of Shatterstone named Orton. Now is that... Alright, so that is his wife. Okay. Uh, my liege, your wisdom and mercy are legendary. I discovered a plot where Winfrey Darren seeks to replace Gwyneth and become regent. Um, I don't think that's the thing we'd imprison her for. No. Um, I, I, I don't think so. That sounds reasonable, actually. Uh, news from Volantheris, my lord. A new dragon has entered the world. Chimela... Adinion has six, apparently successfully hatched one and has named the he-dragon Deathwing. Um, okay. You know, a little bit World of Warcraft for my tastes, but it'll do. Alice Prester died a natural death. She was married to a Brax, who is some, somewhere in there that somebody we care about. And uh, Councillor Dagon of Saraburi died. Again, somewhere in there we care. There's somebody... Some relation in there. Uh, Lord Roos II of White Harbor has usurped the title High Lord of White Harbor from Lord Theon of White Harbor. But he is imprisoned by Lord Harlan the Spider. And he is imprisoned by Captain Harlan of the Hedge Knights. Okay. King Artis the Gentles declared the Veilman War on Wycombe War. Uh, the Veilman claim on Wycombe War on Queen... Jazine of the Trident. So someone's finally tried to take uh, some land from the Trident. It's been a long time. And the Trident's just been sitting there. Uh, Jonah Karen or Jonah Storm, has uh, just uh, died of grayscale. Been succeeded by Guinea Pike and Brienne Karen. Okay. Reachman War for many claims have been ending inconclusive. Oh, wait, no, that's the Reachman's War for the Rock ended inconclusively. I guess the person who they were pressing the claim for died. Interesting. Uh, a son was born to Ambrod Serpentail and Frenya named Meldred. Meldred is a weak child. Okay. 
Lord Master Danos of Driftmark has usurped the title City of Driftmark from Yemen Valerian. And what's also interesting about the Reach, um, like the war being inconclusive, is one, there's no truce, and two, that means that Westeros is much less likely to win their war. Uh, because all the forces of the Rock can be placed against them before they're completely destroyed. Which was a possibility was that the Reach would just completely uh, take over all the provinces and destroy them. Anyway. Joshua Christie died of an infected wound. That's, um, that's unfortunate. He did just arrive in, but... Well, that's what happens when you take the wounded trait, I guess. Just a fair warning to the rest of uh, people. It does lower your health stat by one. Which is actually fairly reasonable. A son was born to Ethan Forrester and Chan Lee named Andrew. Um, okay. Nothing special about Andrew. Uh, okay. Lady Lucilla was being released from Lord Nymer's dungeons. Walton Stark is now known as the Mad. Is he a lunatic? Oh, I love it when the uh, rulers are lunatics. Who's his heir as well? His heir is another Stark, and he is married to a Stark. Okay. Yeah, so the Starks are intermarrying and becoming lunatics. Are they the Targaryens in disguise? Lord Garth of Longtail has declared Lord Garth of Lord Garth's War to liberate captive from Lord Oris of Stonebridge the plot of Garth of Longtable on Lord Oris of Stonebridge. I just love the uh, length of that uh, war declaration. It means nothing. It's not an important war, but I just love the length of it. Um, okay, people being released from dungeons. King Artis III of the Mountain Vale was slain by Lord Alvin of the Trident in personal combat. So he was slain by Lord Alvin Vriprin of the Trident. Okay, and he's been seeded by Gelrod Linderly. Who is Chase? Um, okay. Yep, not much actually else going on here. We might make it to uh, 14. That would be amazing. James has come to get my help. Today we're going to cut down some trees. Very hard work, he says. Okay. Um, well, I mean, we're patient, so... I mean, we'll just do it, I assume. I'm not in a rush to do other things. I don't know. I, I, there wasn't really a great answer there, based on our stats, or, or our traits, because we don't have that many traits. Uh, we can righteously uh, imprison uh, Gwyneth's Matt because she wants to replace Winfrey and become regent. Oh, did Winfrey become my regent? Oh, when did that happen? Did we, di we didn't get a pop-up about that at all. None. Okay. And we knew she had the plot, but... No. I don't think we got a pop-up about that. Interesting. Well, that's going to definitely change uh, some of the uh, actions, if I'm basing them off of um, you know, what traits we've got. Or what traits our regent has. Um, Queen Griz uh, Jazine of the Trident accepted King Geralt of the Mountain Vale's peace offer. And that means he has usurped the... L oh, ooh, wow. He's actually usurped a lot more than just the Lordship of Wycombe. He's taken over all that land. Unless um, the Lord of Wycombe had a lot more land or something like that. That's a lot of land the Mountain of Vale just took. And the Trident almost doesn't exist anymore. Uh, looks like uh, Westeros are going to lose this war. Which is unfortunate, but there you go. We also have nine troops. John Fisher died of gonorrhea. He had no children. He was married to Megan of the, of the Tower of Dread. Okay. Um... Uh, yeah, some loot arrived from Lord's Port. Wait. Uh, they're under the Kennings, yes. That's a different uh, group of them. There's, oh, they're actually uh, raiding, which is interesting. Uh, we can raid still. We have that no raiding allowed stuff, but... It's interesting, the Ironborn... I wonder if the rain uh, Lannisters on the coast as well. Uh, King Geralt of Mountain Vale has inherited the Lordship of the Bloody Gate. All right. More raiders are arriving. Um, not much else that we're rushing to do right now. We are 11. That's uh, 
you know, we're getting close to actually being an adult. We'll can see if we can make it past age 30 this time. Uh, there's a peasant revolt. Okay. Yeah, it'd be nice when we become an adult, because we'll also be able to change our, um, our marshal into, uh, what's the word? Reinforcing the troops, or increasing uh, reinforcement rate. Because it's really, really low if you don't have a marshal working on it right now. Uh, more raiders have arrived. Oh, that was a Lannister has been released from something. Oh, I think I clicked past it. Um, there's a peasant revolt on the Moon's Grey. From Moon's Grey. Uh, my liege, I write to you of bad news from Harlow Hill. My efforts to squeeze some extra tax out of the population have been met with resistance. Uh, the peasants are arming themselves. I fear we may have a revolt on our hands here soon. Your humble steward, Than Perli. Okay. Yep, that's not good. Uh, Brian Linderley died stillborn. That would have been the uh, first child. Oh no, it would have been the uh, sixth child of these people. Um, Lord Alvin of the Trident has usurped the Lordship of Blue Fork from Jizin Muton. And that actually means that all there is no Trident anymore. I think. Yeah, there is no trine. It's all under the Mountain Vale. So that is one of the kingdoms is gone. Which is definitely interesting. Because usually when a kingdom goes, that's um, kind of the sign that something else is about to, like, kick off. Because usually they like... To, uh, the mod seems to have a thing where it's like, there has to be this many kingdoms. And if there's not, there's a lot more revolts. I don't know if that's actually a thing. Or whether it's just a well-balanced. But anyway. There's a peasant's revolt in the uh, rock as well. Um, which might do well for Westeros. They might be able to get something out of it. Asha Dane has been released from the High Septum's dungeon. He's uh, been on a little bit of an adventure. Uh, Lord Paramount Vale Widowmaker has usurped the Lordship of White Tree from Urin Shieldbreaker. Um, so he's Lord Paramount Vale Widowmaker. So the King Beyond the Wall has declared himself Lord Paramount instead of King. Interesting. Um, or it is a Lord Paramount who has declared. Okay, anyway, he took a lot of land from the. Uh, he took all the land from the king uh, beyond the wall. My liege, my work in Stone Tree seems to have come to fruition by bribing, cajoling, extorting, threatening, and forging documents. I've managed to fabricate a claim on the Lordship of Stone Tree, presently held by Lord Gilwood of Stone Tree. Um, I leave it up to you whether to press it or not. Yours humbly, Lord Cotter of Hangmire. Um, do we have a claim on it? We don't already have a claim. I suppose we'll take it, yeah. Um, I mean, we're just setting up the claims because it takes so long for claims to actually go through that um, we might as well have them and then we can better decide what to do with them. Instead of getting them and then not being able to do anything with them because our characters die very quickly. Um, is there anything else we want to claim on? Maybe try and get... We already have a claim on Pike, don't we? Yeah. Um, we could try and solidify that claim, or at least solidify the claim on Saltcliffe, which is something we should have anyway. Or we can just get them to improve relations. I mean, we are allied with them. It will just get them to improve relations with our liege, just a little bit. Um, or I suppose our direct liege. Um, yeah. Okay, we'll get them to do that. That'll be fine. Right. Anything else we're looking for? Peasant revolts are happening. Cool. Um, Archon Belchio of Tyros has accepted Princess Leandra of Dorne's peace offer. Uh, so Dorne won. It's time for me to receive a proper education. Um, life is so full of opportunities, what will I become? So still being educated by our mother. As Winfrey Darren is ambitious, Perhaps she would take this as the opportunity to make herself our educator. Because she is already teaching us how to fight. And um, she has taken the regent spot from her mother. Maybe she's trying to actually, uh, you know, maybe she has some plot. She's a little bit of a lunatic, a bit, you know. Maybe she's trying to uh, do something that we can't quite understand. I think it's reasonable she would, uh, for many a reason, uh, become our... Um, the person to actually educate us. Winfrey. There we go. And, uh, I have to imagine it'd be a martial education. Because that's what she's kind of into. So more martial education for us. 
see how that goes. Uh, one child lacks a childhood focus. Roderick Serpentail is being educated by Joe Zoran, our uncle. He is a skilled steward. Um, Joe Zoran is not really in the line of anything, and Roderick is not really in the line of anything, right? Yeah, he's um, he's the brother of the heir to Harlow Hill, so he is third in line, and that means that Roderick would be fourth in line. Okay. Um, I think maybe duty. Seems like a reasonable one for him. Alright. Probably not going to be in charge, but, you know, should know what he should be doing. Um, anyway, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.